Chai do. Chai Yes. Hi. Hi there. Now, why don't you tell me why rotary engines are so good? Well, rotary engine for uh, for the power jet is or power motors in in, in general. Um, there's a massive advantage in, in the rotary engine and the piston engine. Now, I've discovered that through six years development of piston engines um, and years and years of seeing other people using piston engines and realizing they're just not the appropriate engine for, for this kind of aircraft. For personal aircraft, the ultimate engine in the world today is the rotary engine because it has incredibly low vibration, in fact, zero vibration if you get the balancing right. Um, it's got better fuel economy than a two-stroke. It's way quieter. The power delivery is incredibly smooth. It's linear, so you don't get any power band at all. And the engine internals run at third of the speed of the actual crankshaft. So when you open up the power, it doesn't feel like the engine's really working very hard because actually the internals, well, the engine's shaft is only running at 10,000 RPM, for example. The actual internals are only running at 3,300. So it's, the wear characteristics are incredibly low. It doesn't feel like it's actually working very hard to produce all that power. And that makes them such a joy to fly. So you don't feel that's kind of... Uh, intense um, kind of engine roar on your back, it just kind of cruises you up into the air. It's a phenomenally sort of smooth experience. Charlie, so now you're going to take us through the different parts of the actual engine. Okay, so yeah, you've got the rotor, it's got a gear on that side, you've got the eccentric shaft here, you've got needle rotor cage, which drops down inside the rotor. Got loads of little barrel barrel needles inside it. And you've got the two side plates here and here and the main rotor housing where the rotor rotates inside. Uh, we're gonna take it, we're gonna drop one of these in, we're gonna drop this gear in and we're gonna put it at exactly mid mid position in the chamber. So that drops in there. And then the needle rotor cage goes in. And then you've got the eccentric shaft goes in after that. And there's only two moving parts in the whole engine, that's the absolute beauty of it. You're going to ease that in, and it drops in nicely like that. And these are the only two parts that move. This goes smoothly around like that, and that's all that happens. And the amazing thing is that that is moving three times slower than that shaft. Because it's on a gear, three to one gear inside. And people overlook that a lot. It means that the conventional piston engine. This is moving up and down as fast as they accept the main crankshaft is going up and down, and whereas this is moving three times slower, so the wear is three times less. And you can see, if I just show you how this works, I'm going to come down here, I'll show you how it works. The inlet's coming in here, it's being compressed in this chamber here. You can see that chamber there, it's getting smaller and smaller, it's getting smaller. And now, the spark ignites about 22 degrees from the top center, it ignites the combustion and it explodes out through here, the combustion is happening in there and then the exhaust port opens suddenly, it passes the and the exhaust gases rush out but at the same time as that is happening, a fresh charge is being sucked into there and another charge is being compressed all at the same time so it's doing three strokes of the combustion all in one day Doesn't that, doesn't that mean that then it leads to having a less pulse so you get more torque coming out of the actual engine? What happens is that you get, essentially, with, it, with, it, with, a, with all your piston engine you get a very, very strong um, kind of spike in power, really. and whereas with these it's a very smooth linear power because it's happening, it's so much smoother, it's happening every single revolution for one, um, but also it's a much more, it's much smoother power delivery in the way the combustion takes place anyway, so it's just got lots of advantages, it's kinder on your belts and your drive belts, it's kinder on your propellers, it's kinder on everything really, um, especially your airframe because there's no vibration. Charlie, that's brilliant, i better let you get back to work. Okay, cool.